Let's do it. This is to say, like, as if I know where I'm going. Let's, uh, let's get oriented. Whoa! What the fuck? Um, I don't want to get hit by that, please. Um, you guys are seeing this too, right? What is this? I think our sun just exploded. I think our sun just exploded. What the hell? Our sun just went supernova. Hey, we read that thing in the museum that said it wasn't going to happen anytime soon. And it just happened, and there's all of our memories again. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm in. I love it. Did we just watch something get destroyed up there, or just... Oh, wow. Okay. And this is the time loop. You gotta... When you, when you wake up and find yourself in a time loop, after watching your son go supernova, it's time to roast a marshmallow. You just... You just gotta do it. Um... I don't know. So that's pretty intense. Let's eat it. Um, yeah, exactly. And so this is interesting because we know the codes now, so we haven't forgotten anything. Oh, hold up. You're going to want the launch codes from the observatory. I already got them from the observatory. Don't you remember? Must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Yeah, so it's a time loop. This is the time loop. This is another mystery on top of already, we're already trying to figure out the, the Nomai and what they were doing, but the eye of the universe. And now we're in a time loop. The eye of the universe and this time loop here in the system have to be related. This, this phenomenon, it's gotta be caused by the eye of the universe. It must be why the Nomai were here trying to investigate, right? Let's see if our ship's log remembers anything. I'm actually really curious. Oh, it does. The ship log keeps everything. That's so great. So you don't... You don't lose any progress. I mean, it seems like you do, but you don't. This is good. And so we know from last time that somewhere here... We can find that harmonica music. Felspar's harmonica. That, you know, supposedly he shouldn't be around anymore, but somebody's playing the harmonica, right? Let's just drift off here into orbit. Oh, man. Unreal, guys. This is great. Let's see if we can round the planet here and find out. Here we go. Oh, oh! You forget, you, you just slack up for just a minute. And then you're tilting off. Okay, well that's, uh, that's what we want to look for. We're a hovercraft now, boys. Maybe it's... Oh, we just hit a tree. Nothing happened. Let's get a little bit more altitude, I guess. Okay. Exit ship and repair. Um, yeah. That's a first. We could definitely do that, though. Kind of wondering if we could, like, leg it from here to wherever. Like, if we pull up our signal scope. No. Okay. 
I don't think it costs us anything to repair. I think we just have to do the physical task of repairing it, right? I don't see what resources that could have cost us, so... That's good, at least. Don't have to worry about that, I guess. I'm thinking we want to investigate that. I'm like tilting around. Controlling with my body is how I roll. Uh, let's um... Well I'd say let's go into landing mode but we kind of already did. I just don't know if this is getting us any closer. It's so strange. Maybe I just need to go way out, you know? Okay. No, no, no. We want in there. Let's try to get right here. That was not... <laughs> not what we wanted, but... <laughs> let's, let's get on repair. And then let's go on foot. I think we have to go on foot. I, I don't think I'm going to get any closer. Landing camera got totally busted. Like, we really bungled that one up. Oh, ouch. We can't get any, like, clearance of the planet <laughs> with our suit is the problem. It's like, we have to get closer because... I think we just have to get closer. I could be totally wrong about how to go about this. I feel like I need to land right in that crater for this to work. Here it is. Alright. Or is this... Okay, we definitely want to get down here. This is going to be as good as we get, I think. Let's see what's going on here. It looks like a crash site. It just almost looks like everything else we built, <laughs> which looks kind of like a crash site, but this is going down pretty deep. Okay, so it is picking it up. We updated our ship's log, so we're... We're on to something. Who are you? Okay. Listen to that. Hey, yo, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. Okay. Yeah, we did. I saw something crash over on the horizon. And I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures of my little scout was sitting back. So I thought I'd come over here and take myself a look. So, what crashed? And I guess that's a dark bramble seed. I want to know what crashed. I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? kind of looks like something that might have come off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look at that thing. And that's a fact. 
Think I'll set Marl and Hale loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands in anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. So, I mean, that's fine. What about this thing? Blasted seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. Uh, no. I guess we're good. Now, equip scout launcher. And then... Can we launch scout? Oh! Um... Where is this going? Is that where it ended? I'm just curious if we can send it deeper. It looked like we hit something there, didn't it? Let's see what we hit here. <laughs> oh, we could rotate. Okay, so something is in there. I don't know what that got us. Alright, um, so we added something to the ship's log. Now we gotta get our way out of here. So... Why is this... playing the harmonica? Is that a silly question? Or... Am I, like, losing my mind? You'd think this would go straight through, but it doesn't. This is very unusual. Okay, I think we've captured that thing from every conceivable angle, whatever it is. And I don't know what it is, but it's very interesting. It took us a long time to figure out how to get here. <laughs> Apologize for that. I'm sure we'll get the hang of navigating in time. We learned about the dark bramble seed. <clears throat> we learned a little bit about inside the seed. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in the dark bramble. That's just really strange. A seed from the dark bramble crashed here and already has taken root. Tectite wants to use a scout launcher to get a better look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up harmonica music when I aim it at the seed. Exactly. That, that was the confusing part. I launch my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. And, like, what else do we do with that information? I don't know.
Okay, we had to... We still had not retrieved our scout. I was getting a little map ping. This is so unusual. I guess we could go back to the moon and tell that guy what the sound was, but then again, he doesn't remember talking to us, I doubt, because it, technically we did a time reset, right? Well, let's see how that all plays out. Are we... are we stuck? We can't be stuck, can we? Maybe we need to repair something. No, she looks okay. She's not hissing at us. <clears throat> it would be funny if we man did manage to get her completely and utterly hopelessly stuck. Let's go blast off like this, shall we? Oh, we can't even do that. I think I got this sucker pretty stuck. I don't know what we're going to do about that, guys. I truly don't know what we're going to do about that. It's a little concerning. Just a little concerning. Way to jar it loose, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know what else to do here. He's of no help. I'd be willing to like leap into this thing at this point. Suit puncture detected. Oh no. That's probably not good. Okay, so our suit could be damaged. That's good to know. I keep hoping we'll just be unstuck. I just don't think it's going to happen. Oh, so suit helps. Can we go in without the suit? No. Okay, well, we seem well and stuck. I thought maybe if we could somehow meet our demise, it would do like a reset and get us unstuck. But at this point, at this point, we seem pretty stuck. Let's see. We could see what happens if we quit and go back in. That'd be interesting. To find out. So we'll probably do that. It might be time to take a little bit of a break. Maybe five minutes. And then come back with an unstuck ship. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Okay, so if you do get your ship stuck, you can just log out, log back in. It saved all my progress, so we checked the logs were all the same. And I just kind of parked us on the moon here, so... I think we could check out Dark Bramble.
let's head towards that signal and see. This is Dark Bramble, I believe. No, not Dark Bramble. This is the... Well, we could check. We are headed towards Brittle Hollow. I don't know what this is. Eventually, we'll get the hang of that scout. And then that's the Hollow's Lantern. Okay. No. Huh. Well, I mean, we landed. But it could have been a lot smoother. We're going to have some repairs to do. Like, possibly the entire ship is busted. Oh, jeez. It's not even giving us the option... of doing a repair. That's kind of scary. Well, while we're here... This must be, uh... Maybe not a part of our ship. Maybe part of a different ship. I don't know. We can light the campfire. I don't think we should be roasting any marshmallows until unless we figure out ghost matter detected nearby. Um, now we could pull out the scout launcher. So, is it mainly over there? Like, I feel like we could get in some... Oh, no! Okay. So it's right in front of us, basically. Very strange. And these structures, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that these have to be the Nomai structures, right? Okay. Not a good sign that there's skeletons here. There's an egg thing, but we can't seem to interact with it at all. Uh, see if we can get up here actually get a better look at things now there sh it seems like there should be somebody here because we find a campfire and a bedroll but they are missing
they are missing. What was that about? Oh, this is the ghost matter. Okay, so they're not here. And I'm not detecting their music anywhere on this side of the planet. Let's see if she even, uh, oh, she doesn't even fly anymore. Not sure what to do when you lose your spaceship. I guess we could just leg it. See what we could find on foot. I don't know that we have another choice. Oh, what have we here? Another Nomai little outpost, but just the buildings are destroyed, obviously. But... This could be fun. It missed. Trying to fire it down the hole. It just gets... It's too big, I guess. Yeah. It can almost, like... It's looking back up at us. I can't get a useful angle out of it. Okay. I want it to go into the hole. I just don't know if it can. Huh. Very weird. You'd think we could get it down there, but we can't. Okay. Well. Anything else here to check out? Because that, I don't know what that's about. Oh, good, good. We could do some reading. Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. <laughs> wow. That sounds nice. Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Not something you do every day, even as an ancient gnomian. I don't know how close it is to Enona's original design, but as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasaba, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they're accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Oops, what did that say? Don't tell Cassava. Okay. Through the black hole on Brittle Hollow, What is this? Can we not interact with this? I guess we can't do anything with those. Uh, 
And what about the scroll? We can remove the scroll, but... I don't know that that gets us anything, you know? We can't put it into anything else. It doesn't get us down there. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're right on the poles. The poles seem to be centers of activity. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> Three minutes of oxygen left. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. The phantom moon. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Plum. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. No, that's not what we wanted. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. I guess that was if it was two volcanic moons. Hypothesis. There can exist... There can exist too much lava. Thatch. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. So these are like, almost like message boards they leave after one another. You know, like one person posts, and then the next Nomai posts something, and then they kind of reply to each other. It's very interesting, uh, conceptually, how they communicate. If you think about how we do so much of our communication in message boards and things like that. Uh, pretty cool. Okay. Um, and I think... It seems like we might have got everything. I don't think we have a lot of oxygen left. In fact, I see that we have about 15 seconds. And I guess... If we expire out here... What happens to us then? Maybe we just wake up... back home in the day resets. I'm going to assume that's what happens. Is that we'll wake up back home, the day will reset, and all will be well. But while we do have time, we could explore more. Fuel level's critical. We've been flying all over the place. Oh boy. That's the black hole, right? I don't think I want to go in the black hole. Not in the slightest. But I was going to try to check out the other pole uh, before we run out of oxygen. Okay, am I going to make it across this? Yes, we did. But we're out of oxygen. We're out. Oh, that was our oxygen depleting. All right. So we will, in fact, run out of oxygen. It can definitely happen. And we are going to reset. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm digging this game a lot. Definitely, definitely going on YouTube with it. And now, look, that thing does get hit every time, but it doesn't seem to get totally destroyed, but does something fly off of it? Is that the, the thing? That's so weird. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break here. Seems like a good place to take a break, doesn't it? We could roast a marshmallow, our favorite thing to do around the campfire, with this guy who seems to have no clue that time keeps resetting.
Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you had fun. Take care and wish me luck.